Hey, what's up guys, Midge HD here, and I'm here with a brand new model, a very cool model, the Vietnam Airlines A350-900XWB. Make sure you check the description for anything you may have missed throughout this video. My social media, such, such as my Facebook and Twitter, will be down in the description, as well as where the website where I pre-ordered this from, which was easytoys.com. And also go check out 777 Die Hard Forever's channel, he just uploaded this video as well as the um, Air New Zealand 787-9, uh, American Airlines 777-200 and um, Emirates A380 with the Expo 2020 logo on it. So go check out his channel, really great videos. So uh, anyway, this is my 7th A350 model and it's my first Vietnam Airlines model. Uh, it's pretty soon I, sh I should be expecting the Vietnam Airlines 787-9. Some info about Vietnam Airlines, they're based out of the Long Bien district in Hanoi, Vietnam. Main hubs are Noi Bai International in Hanoi and Tan Son Nat, or Nat International in Ho Chi Minh City. Secondary hub is Da Nang International Airport and focus cities are CM Reap International and Phnom Penh International. They were founded in 1956 as Vietnam Civil Aviation and their fleet consists of 81 aircraft as, as of the 22nd of June 2015. They have 14 A350s on order, with one soon to be delivered, um, which was expected at the end of June. They are the second customer to receive the A350 after Qatar Airways, and um, their first flight, the inaugural flight, is from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City on the 1st of July 2015. They have 52 destinations and their first scheduled A350 flight, uh, international flight, will be from Hanoi to um, Charles de Gaulle in Paris. And the designation code for this aircraft is 41 due to the engine supply being Rolls Royce. So I'll show you around the box here, we've got the Gemini 200 logo, Vietnam Airlines, a picture of the aircraft, A350-900, standard Gemini Jets box, I would love to have seen um, like the 787s with the little flap at the front, so you can have a look at the model without opening the box up, no licenses, um, top of the box, right, bottom, and left. Okay, let's take a look inside. And there she is. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box and let's take a look around it. So we're going to start the cockpit windows on the port side and you see the very well known now, uh, cockpit windows, got that eyebrow look. And then there's the nose cone, Sky Team logo, because they're part of the Sky Team group, which is a group of 20 airlines. 886, part of the registration on the gear. Gear door, sorry. Um, then there is the Golden Lotus, the flower. And Vietnam Airlines titles. There's also the inboard landing light. And then the beautiful Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine. And I'll just show you inside the engine, it does spin. You also see uh, the strake on the nacelle. There we go. And then we come along the leading edge to the winglet, the blended winglet, very nice. There's uh, the navigation light there, should be red. Continue along the fuselage, you see that gold and the blue. I really thought the blue should be darker. I've seen pictures of this aircraft and uh, yeah, I think the blue should be darker. There's the registration, VNA. 886 
um, or Victor November Alpha 886. Then the A350-900. Then the Golden Lotus on the tail. By the way, this livery, it's the new Golden Lotus livery. Um, it's revised from the older one, which was also named the Golden Lotus. And this new one was first applied to one of their 777s, which, is in, which was in their fleet in 2014. So let's take a look at the APU. Very nice APU, you see the two strobe lights under the exhaust there. Start back at the cockpit again on the starboard side. You see the Sky Team logo. Part of the registration on the gear. Um, front cargo container door. Inboard landing light. The Rolls Royce Train XWB engine. And also, I've just noticed on the engine exhaust, you see they've got um, their blue tipped which uh, was also on the 787 and then got the blended winglet with the should be green navigation light and continuing down rear cargo container door the registration and the lotus flower on the tail and the Vietnamese flag I'm pretty sure Vietnam Airlines is the flat carrier of Vietnam. If they're not the flag carrier, I wonder who is. But I'm pretty sure they are. Nose gear, uh, antenna right there. There's a hole for the stand, the uh, beacon light, Gemini Jets logo, the main gears and the gear doors. Flaps, slats, ailerons. Same on this side, but with the registration. You see the engines right there, very nice. Continuing down, we see another antenna down to the APU housing and on top of the aircraft. It's supposed to be a little hump right there, that would be for. Um, their SATCOM antenna, dual anti-collision lights and ADF antennas, flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers. Get a real close look. Some writing there. Can't really make it out. Same on this side. Flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers but with the registration. And down towards the tail, another antenna, there'd be a uh, comms antenna, another one. Down to the tail, see the two grey dots on either side on the horizontal stabilizers. Those are the logo lights which light up the tail at night time. Alright, at this point I would normally tell you or show you the configuration of the seating, but... There hasn't been a seat map uh, officially released, but they've released the um, classes. So we've got 29 business class, 36 deluxe economy, 240 economy, and that brings a total to 305 seats. Alright, so now it must be time to show you guys the stand. Standard Gemini Jets stand. Blue film on the back to protect, and also Gemini Jets logo, it's just to protect the, uh, the metal. I'm just going to peel this off. Nice shiny back right there. And padding on top so it doesn't scratch the model underneath. 
and I'm just going to place it on there and there it is this is a very very beautiful model I'm so happy to have it looks amazing some features with this model uh, there's no landing lights but they should be there on the wheel but um, gears roll very easily um, the main gears they tilt so that's in landing right there pretty sure um, front gear swivels so if you've got an airport you can turn it, turn it in any direction you want and the most common thing by now is that the gears are magnetic they come off very easily but they stay on when you put them on well that's what they're meant to do um, I should just go back on there except I can't get it on just give me a second there we go All right. and when you want to put them in the in-flight configuration you've always got the gear doors alright guys so that will pretty much be it for this review I really hope you enjoyed um, you do not want to miss out on this model it is actually really going fast the selling out so I would recommend you get it now uh, I recommend it anyway because it's a beautiful looking model. Please like this video if you did enjoy. Comment, tell me what you think about it. Uh, tell me if you're going to get this model. Also, share it so other people can decide if they want to get it. I'm sure they will. Look at those curves. And uh, subscribe for more. I have four more reviews on the way. Uh, Alaska 737, Delta 737. Tam and Garuda, triple sevens. So you don't want to miss those. And also check out my previous uh, six videos, including the one I just did, which was a KLM triple seven three hundred ER in the new livery. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.